Hi. A few days ago, totally out of the blue, my son asked me, Dad, when was God born? Oh, <laughs> that's a tough one. It's a very difficult question, a good question, but a difficult one because like many, I'm not quite sure how to answer this one. It's difficult to explain God, the nature of God, in an intelligible way for a kid or, or an adult. Well, the text, Song of Faith, a United Church of Canada document released in 2006, have an explanation that I like. And the text begins with God is holy mystery, beyond complete knowledge, above perfect description. I like that. Another way to explain God is also found in the book of Revelation. And I know I just said the book of Revelation. Some might be afraid, unsure, unease about this text. But in fact, is like I said, just a text written by most likely a man who just wanted to say to the people of his time that were going through a difficult moment to keep faith, to keep hope by offering them a, a vision of what might be, what might could be. And with a lot of imagination, at the end of this text, chapter 22, it says, I am the Alpha and the Omega, the first and the last, the beginning and the end. Before everything, God was, and after everything, God will be. And this is very difficult to understand. How can God be above or outside time or outside creation? How can we explain that? In the same way, how can we explain the Big Bang? I would say what happened right before the Big Bang. We don't know. And maybe this is the point there's nowhere in this world, there's no time in this time continuum that God is not there. God is always there. And we can not understand, but it does not change the fact that even when we don't understand, God is there. And maybe it's a reminder for all of us to stop trying to control God, put God in some kind of a box, some places like in church, God is there. In my basement, no God. It does not work like that. Try to stop define God. Try to give logical explanation for everything about God. Maybe we need to make space in our lives for a little more mystery, for the unknown, for the unexplained. Maybe what we need is a little less words, a little more experience of the divine. Once again, thank you very much for watching. I remain the lectionary man, Reverend Stefan Vermette, and until next time, take care of yourself, and bye-bye.